Good morning everyone and welcome to day 7 and tip number 7 of my little series 100 days and 100 tips for online learning for beginners. I um, have to apologize, I should have done a, a video a couple of days ago but I did catch a cold. Uh, we had the first rain here in Benidorm which was more than just a rain so I was a bit under the weather, like the weather, but I'm back here. My voice is not 100%, but I was going to touch a topic of the um, keyword. And as promised, I'm back here with the stick. What I want to do today is show you on the computer. On day six, I was talking about um, how to um, find the right keywords when you want to blog. And... Because I, I've explained it, but I didn't explain it really in front of a computer. I was going to show you in the computer um, what exactly I was talking about when you're looking for ideas. So let me go straight to day seven and tip number seven, how to use Google to find inspirations and ideas for more than just keywords, long tail keywords, and which one are the right one. Now, um... To start with, what I prepared, uh, I'm on Google, I'm on google.com now at the search engine and you can see on uh, the um, left hand side of the screen, I typed the word, which is yoga. Um, I was searching for uh, something to write and I thought, oops, sorry, let me go back to Google. I thought, let's start with Google and see how, what we can find. Now, if I type the word yoga, in Google as you can see there are many um, other suggestions that auto complete that Google uses as a search engine that gives you primarily some ideas of what you could use yoga yoga near me yoga with Adrian yoga poses yoga for the beginners but let's start with just one keyword let's let's say that you want to do a um, um, a blog and use the word yoga as the keyword to base your blog around. How many, look at that, you get, I think it's 1 billion and 720,000 million search results for that word. Now, <coughs> if you remember on day six, I was talking about um, trying to find the long tail keyword because the long tail keyword will be better. Um, I will give you a better chance to end up on the first page of the search engine, which is ideally this is where you want to appear. Um, if you want anybody to uh, click on your blog or, or on your shop or whatever it is that you have on your website, on your business online. Now, yoga, even though it's a, um, it's a word with, that's got a lot of traffic, you also know that there's a word that when you have one point, 1 billion point seven hundred and twenty thousand million results you have a huge competition and uh, for you in order to get at the top before in this case what I have yoga journal yoga with Adriana free yoga videos um, 12 must know yoga poses before you arrive up here um, especially if you're just beginning uh, your business online it's going to be a really hard, hard task. So what we do, we want to look for, we said, a long tail keyword. What is a long tail keyword and how do we find it? We find it, um, one of the easiest ways to find it is by using Google itself. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, let's see, for example, when you type the word yoga, you see there's a few suggestions that come up here. Now, let's see... Um, Yoga for, be for beginners is one of them. Well, if I click, if I choose this keyword, it would take me back to, we pass from a result of uh, uh, the original result, 1.1 1 .1 billion searches. Yoga for beginners brings it down already to 282 million results, which is still a lot of results, but you lost a billion. Um, and here again, you have... Um, lots of competition you want to find the niche and make it make it the niche a bit more narrow a bit more specific the more specific you get with your keyword the better it is so let's use again this autocomplete of google 
and um, you can see how many things, how many suggestions you can have. Yoga for beginners online, morning yoga for beginners, yoga for beginner classes. Now, weight loss yoga for beginners. <coughs> you have a lot of suggestions that you can find on the search engine and another great idea to find um, suggestions for long tail keywords is by going straight underneath. If you look on the section here, people also ask you have some great ideas of uh, different type of keywords that you could use to expand your long tail keyword and narrow it down to something more specific. What do we have here? Which yoga is best for beginners? That's one. How often should a beginner do yoga? That could be another keyword. Uh, how do I start yoga, to, uh, doing yoga at home? You can use the section. Uh, people also ask, or you can, you, you can even go, uh, let me see if I find it. Um, sometimes you have another section in here, which is called Quora, which is quite interesting. Um, let's use, uh, yoga for beginners. Uh, which yoga, maybe it's, which yoga is best for beginners, uh, or, okay, what if we type? How can I use yoga? Which how do I have to start yoga? We could go here and take this one. Which yoga is best for beginners? Um, or which yoga poses are good for beginners? Um, this is another keyword, uh, a little bit longer that I found when I was searching before. Now, if I use which yoga poses are good for beginners, um, you can see that it may be narrow it down but still a little you probably think but this is a long keyword it is a long tail keyword but it's still very uh, broad as a um, search when you mean narrow it down it's not just the length of the keyword or the phrases you need it to be much more specific if you want to cut down your competition the amount of traffic that you're going to get is going to get less. But you also will have many, many less people to compete than other websites that have been there for a longer time, especially if you're just beginning. So how can we expand or how can we narrow it down again from which yoga poses are good for beginners to something else? Let's look again in here. Um, people also ask, what are the 12 basic yoga postures? Okay, this is one I was looking before. Um, how many yoga poses are there in total? Uh, uh, can you learn yoga at home? Okay, um, I did go for this one. What are the 12 basic yoga postures? Because I thought, if you think about it, it's not as long as this phrase, but it's definitely a bit more specific as a phrase. So when you do, what are the 12 basic yoga uh, postures? Let's use this as a keyword in Google and see what the results are. Um, look at that. From 239 million searches, we've gone down to 11 million. You see, now the keyword is starting to uh, be a bit more specific. 11 million. Here we go again. How can we make it even more specific? Now you have suggestions done by Google like Sivananda 12 basic asanas, yoga asanas, yoga asana name with pictures and benefits. You can use any one of these to check what the result, what the competition, that, that could be a good keyword. You can go down to the session. People also ask and use um, whatever people also ask. How many yoga asana are there in there? What are the different type of asanas? Who is the father of yoga? Uh, how do I start yoga at home? These are also all suggestions that you can use uh, to um, develop your blog around. But just be careful because a lot of them might look like a long keyword, but they might be very broad as a search result. So you want to 
remember keep in mind to be specific um, together with the uh, people also ask a great area let me see if i find it in here to uh to um, can't find it in here oh no here it is sorry to get inspiration to find the keyword is here you see the www.quora.com this is another place just underneath normally people also ask if you find if you go to quora.com Quora is a place where people ask a question and they get uh, different answers but the question that I ask can be another way to find inspiration to find a keyword to use for your own article or post so we have all these ideas i want to try to narrow it down a little bit more this 11 million see if i can find a keyword a long tail keyword that can help me um write the post where the competition is gonna be uh, a little bit less um i chose to give you an example too among this long list that there were uh what happens to your body uh i think was one of them to your body when you start doing yoga uh, <coughs> which is a very long keyword and another keyword i wanted to use was um what is sivananda yoga poses one is shorter one is longer but look at the difference the longer one what happens to your body when you start doing yoga 630 million results long keyword long tail but way too many results lots of competition we go to the other one which was what is sivananda yoga poses not as long but a very very specific keyword and look at how many results you get 213,000. the competition is much smaller it's very narrowed down from the from the first yoga word that we had here where we had one billion research and results to this one that is down to 213,000. this out of all these words that i came out to show you is probably the best one where you're gonna have uh, some competition but not as much it's much more specific so direct to a very specific niche which makes it ideal for you to direct uh, um, that particular blog to a specific group of people and um, you know when people are going to search for that keyword they are looking for that specific topic so the uh, idea that you catching their attention their interest and hopefully with your suggestion they will access your blog click your blog click on your links and whatever you try to achieve um this the use of a long tail keyword that is also a very narrow um, and specific keyword will uh, make the chance of you succeeding much bigger so um this is it i don't know if it was uh, easy to understand or not i hope um i've shed some light or at least some explanation and it's a little bit better for you to understand what is the difference between the long tail keywords uh, and uh, specific ones so i'm gonna have to go for today um, um i'm gonna leave you as usual i'll be back soon with day eight and tip number eight uh, some thumbs up uh, if anybody enjoyed the uh, um, the video um if you have any question leave them in the comments below or send me an email if i can help you in any way and if you want to find out a little bit more of the place where i've learned everything that i am uh, on a daily basis sharing with you go to wealthy affiliate university uh, they have a, a free study course uh, which is 10 lessons completely free you don't need to use any credit card to follow the course to access the course great community great support and it's the ideal place if you want to start your business so till the next time i'll see you soon take care and ciao